Hi, I wanted to record a very quick video on how to use designer. In this video, I'll be transcribing the audio text into Spanish, German, and um, French languages. So click on the, the CC little icon to turn on the closed captions and you'll be able to hear all this or I'm sorry, read the what I'm saying in Spanish, German, and French. So with that, let's go to Designer. So Designer is a, a tool for creating ebooks. It's not for creating print books, it's only for digital ebooks. And there's a couple ways that you can get started with Designer. You can first click on this start a new project and then you're going to have some different options to choose from to import already finished content. So if you wanted to import from a website, maybe you have a website that you want to repurpose some content. Let me just go to designer's blog. And I'm just going to use an article off of their blog just for example's sake. So for this one, I'm just going to right click and copy the link and go back to designer. And I'm going to paste that link in here and click fetch. It does take a couple seconds. So you do want to wait for this little wheel to stop spinning. And then when it does, you can click next. If you wanted to add a second article, you could. So let's copy this link too, and we'll come back to designer and paste that link in also. And again, just wait for this little link to stop or that's to stop spinning. But what I can also do is I can reorder these. If I want this one to be show up first in the ebook and then this one second. So let's leave it like that and we'll click next. The next part is we need to pick a template. All the templates, you can click on preview and you can see what the, the cover page is going to look like, what the headers and footers are going to look like, what the text is going to look like, and you can also see what the back cover is. All these templates, they're all the same. The only thing different is going to be the front cover, your back cover, and then what your headers and footers are going to look like. All the pages are just going to be a blank white page. You can change that and add background images to the pages. Um, I'll have a, a link in this video description of showing how to add a, a background image to all the pages. So for this example, I'm just going to use this template. And so now what designer did is it took that template and it brought in both of those articles. So the first article you'll see up here, this is the first one and it'll, it'll put the article title in the header and the footer of each page. If you import from a website, it will link to the original article. If you look down here in this bottom right corner, when I hover over the link, you'll see that it has shows the link. So you can see all these pages here, content came in pretty good. You might have to move some things around. So again, I'm just I'm clicking on it and I'm pressing the down arrow on my keyboard. You can also use the up and down arrows here. So let's go through. This is still part of that. Let's move this whole section down. And what we could do to fill in this gap is we could come up here and we could add a new image and pull an image from designers um, search up here. So if we type in, let's just say podcast, since this what this article is about and hit enter, anything that's related to podcast, it will pull in. 
So let's just use this image for the time being. And so that image has come in. Let's move this down. And so that's the, the basic process. I just wanted to go through that and show you. Um, if you want to delete stuff out of it, you can. You can click on the icon or on the image or text. You can click the trash can to get rid of it. Let's just move this down. So that, let's move that down to conclusion. So after we're done, after we're done and we have everything like we want, uh, we can actually move some stuff up. So we're gonna click on this little repaginate icon and oh, that wasn't able to pull that up because there wasn't enough space in this area for this image. So. Let's just say that we're done. We'll click save and we're gonna publish this to PDF. After it's done, you're gonna get this success. We click that link, the, a new window will open up with our ebook PDF version. And we can just scroll through it real quick and take a look and make sure everything looks okay. If I wanna make changes, I can still go back into the project make changes, save, and then publish the PDF again. And so I'm not locked into this final version. And then after I would be done, I would click this download button and it will pull up my computer and ask me to save the file to my computer. At that point, I can do whatever I want with the file. I can upload it to Amazon, Apple iBooks, Google Playbooks. I can upload it to my own website. Um, I can start sharing it on social media. Um, what I, the next step that I typically do is I will go to Dropbox and I would up, upload the file to Dropbox. So we want to upload the file. Oop. Of course, my Dropbox is full. Um, let me show you on Google Drive then. So if I go to Google Drive, I'd want to click on add new and then I'd want to upload my file and I would pick my file wherever I downloaded it to. Let's just look on my desktop here and if this was my project I would click on it and I'd upload it to some type of online storage and then after it's uploaded I'm going to click on it once and right click and then I'm going to click on get link and what what it's doing here is it's creating a hyper a link so you can share this on social media or on a download page and it'll allow you to let other people copy it or get access to it either purchase it or sign up to your list we do need to check make sure that this is switched to anyone with link and then we would copy the link and then we can start sharing that link to other places. Uh, real quick, there is some other options with Designer, how you can import content. Um, when you click the start, you can also import from a Word doc if you have something already done. You can import from Google Docs, just like I was showing you there. If you just wanna start from the template itself with no content in it, you can do that also. That is, it just makes you pick a template and then it creates the 
the ebook for you and it just puts in some dummy content. At this point, we would have to drag in some paragraphs to be able to start typing. And so we would need to add paragraph after paragraph to continue to type. If you get to an end of a paragraph and you hold shift enter, and it will create a new text box that you can start typing in. And then the other way I wanted to show you was import from scratch. So the import from scratch option is a very easy way to copy and paste content from multiple different sources. So if we select that and we would give it my draft, the draft is what will be saved in the drafts here that you will always have original copy of the project. This, the project name is going to be um, my, it's going to be your ebook title that you want on the cover page. Footer link here is if you want to hyperlink the text in the footer, you can. Um, and down here, this is where you're actually going to copy and paste content. So if I go back here to, let's say this, I can go and just copy, highlight and copy content. And after I've copied this content, I can come back into designer and just paste that content right in here. And I can paste in many different, um, from different pages, Word docs, Google docs, PDFs, wherever I want the content to come from. Literally just go highlight it, copy it and come back here and paste. So if we click continue, the next thing it's going to ask us to do is pick a template again. So we'll use this one. And again, it just takes the template and adds all your content to the template. You will have to come in and kind of move around these, um, the headings so they match up, but it's literally just clicking on them and either pressing the up or down arrows here or using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. Over here on the right, you'll notice that you have the actual thumbnails of the pages. If I want to reorder the pages, I can. If I click on one, I can move it around to wherever I want. I can also multi-select. So I click on one and then I hold the shift key and I select the other one and I can move both pages at one time. And again, when I'm done, I would click save and then publish to PDF. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the draft mode. The draft mode, each time you upload a document, Designer will cre create a, a draft version of it, which is basically just a, a copy that of the original file that you imported before you made any um, additions to it or reordered pages. It's gonna be the original content. So you could always come back to write the draft and you could convert it into another project if you wanna reuse it or reformat it a different way. But you can also create a new draft. It's just like that content or start from scratch where you can do the same thing. You can actually come in here and you can you know, just start typing in your content. If you wanna create it from scratch, you can do it here also. And then after you're done, you click save and you'll see that my draft is here. And then I, again, if I click this, It'll have me pick a template and it'll convert it into a project for me. So this is just a very, very brief demo overview of designer. If you have more questions, look in the, in the, in the description of this video, I'll link to my designer tutorial videos and it shows you how to do different things inside of the de designer. Hope you found this valuable and I will speak with you later.